Hello, looking guys, Shadow of today I'm back with another video, and today we're going to be playing some more Doctor Who Edge of Reality. Um, very much excited to continue playing this because it was always fun, and uh, yeah, um, I. Looks like Mars, 22nd century. Something's off, though. I uh, didn't do a video yesterday because I once again had plans, and yeah. Cybermen, Daleks, Weeping Angels, Tasma, Cybermats, the first, and the Cyber Reaper. You didn't think I was going to sit this one out, did you? Yes, no. Seriously? Allons-y! Uh -huh. <laughs> Looks like the Doctor knows where he's going. Keep up. Ah, okay, person. That's incredible. Uno, 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 uno. Don't forget. We need to track down and destroy the force field units so the doctor can get the TARDIS game. Run. Maybe don't do zero frames though. That's extra annoying when that happens. I'm not gonna be doing any of that. Was that giant statue facing this way a minute ago? I have a problem. So basically, I fell, and now he's like here. I'm gonna try and loop him. <laughs> okay, I ran. I'm all good now. Never mind. Run. I don't know why, but I stopped for some reason. There's also a car there. Ah, uh, the zero frame thing is really annoying. I don't know why it's going that. The Cybermen have built an amplifier around fragments of the first. That must be one of the reality virus transmitters. Looks like the Doctor needs a hand. Help the Doctor deactivate that transmitter. Why is he coming after me? I sonicized it. Good work. Good work, me. Okay. Well, that was interesting. It's quite a punch. We've been catapulted into another weak spot in reality. Oh, okay. The transmitter must be near. Up there. Right behind you, Doctor. Or, you know, maybe I won't be deleted, because I'm magic, I'm magic. You'll never get me alive, never catch me. I'm too magic for you. Never mind. Maybe it's something to do in the settings. I just remembered how terrible the setting settings was for this game. Almost, are we? Okay. Uh huh. Oh no, another reality glitching time thing. Where's the doctor? We're on our own now. Oh, that's good. Is that. Oh no. Oh, for God's sake, can it not do that, please? That's like ten times more annoying. I think he's stuck. This is interesting. Have fun. Some of this orbiting. Yeah, he's still stuck down there. Ah, oh, shivers. Oh, it's okay. I'm on that chunk of pillar. Oi! That's cheating. I'm not allowed to teleport. Who said that was allowed? I hope I was meant to jump onto this one. I guess not. I failed, no matter. 
I guess I have to be closer. Okay. I'm back on uh, Winston Churchill's head or whatever it is, whoever it is, some... Eek! That was a close one. Sonic! I think I did it. That's two reality viruses, three already actually, taken out. Oh. Alright. Oh, hi there, sorry, hello. Is unraveling causality. Not a sentence I thought I'd be saying today. This way, run. I will not be deleted. Deleting is not fun. Unless I'm the one doing the deleting. Oh no. Even the laws of physics are breaking down. Well, that's not good. Great. My vertigo is kicking in. Big time. Vertigo. Steady. Steady. Sped time. Run! Now I'm hopscotching over like um, tables and stuff. That's interesting. Watch your footing. Table scotch. Where is he? Oh, he's all the way down there. He's been a bit slow. A bit slow. Slow boy. Oh, interesting. Well, this is just weird. And after everything we've been through, that means weird is bringing its A game. I guess that's a fair point, yeah. Oi! Peeve off. Ah, this one. Hope there's nothing to collect here, like... I could obviously be looking at things, but like... I'm just kinda... Not sure what to do. Ah, okay. Don't try anything. Or it will kill you. The Cyber Reaper. At last. The ultimate warrior. Pitless. Pitless. Devastating. He has no armpits, is that what it is? Pitless? Go on then. Let's have it. The bit where you lay it on thick with a bit of cyber bloating. You know it's weird. For a race that's got no emotion, it feels like you lot love rubbing it in when you think you've got the upper hand. All that you will of So like to humans. Cyberman. But Cybermen don't have after fear. Years, they don't have emotions. After all these battles, after all these defeats. For you, that is, not me. You still <laughs> get it. That's fair. Emotions are how we live. They're why we live. After all these years, after all these battles, after all the losses of loved ones, for you, not us. You do not understand. Understand what? Your lack of emotion is your greatest strength, Doctor. That single fact is why I recognized the value of upgrading. upgrading. To what? To you. No. You are the There's a fly in my room. Can you please go away? Thank you. No, wait. Pivot. Devastating. Is that what you think? You reconfigure your friends, strip away their safety, and harvest their strengths. You upgrade them to soldiers. You have one goal. Victory. And well, I mean, when it's Earth and, like, world-destroying, universe-destroying, time and reality-destroying, I guess is a kind of thing we kind of want to keep living. break the transmitter to destroy our virus. Yeah. Natural reality will snap back into place and order will be restored. Job done. You would eradicate the new realities created by the virus? Where are you going with this? You must choose. Victory or oh, kindness. kindness. You must decide whether you 
I wonder what you guys would choose. Would you destroy all of reality to save one? Or would you... Or would you save all of reality but not destroy one? I think that made sense. Hang on. Would you rather destroy all of reality to save one, or save one reality and destroy all of reality? Wait, I think I've gotten confused again. Save all of reality and destroy one, or destroy all of reality and save one. That, that, that's it. That, that made sense. That's the one I was looking for. That's the, the one. Ooh, this looks interesting. Taking two minutes to lash up a video recorder out of an astrolab and some psychic paper. Ooh. You're losing your touch, Doctor. Doctor, huh? No one's called me the Doctor for years. And that's fine. I used to love it, though. Yeah, that's nice. I'm the Doctor. This is Romana, Susan, Jamie, Sarah. There are all these old companions that are now dead, gone, or uh, left. Sometimes, when I'm sitting with your mum, she asks me, where have you gone? And it'll be Scarlet, or Gallifrey, Unit HQ. Okay, but Unit I'm HQ sure. is actually not around no, anymore. No, uh, I was just thinking about it. Because I know she feels guilty. Even though I've told her a million times that this little house, with you lot in it, means more to me than everything out there put together. Oh. It's so hard to tell if I'm crouching on. This is crouching. This is not crouching. Half the game I've been like like this. In case anything happens to me, I want you to look after your mum. Who are we talking about? You're old enough. She'll tell you stories of scary clockwork monsters who came to get her. The fireplace that take her to the stars. Before it broke. What? And a man from another world who rode to her rescue on a big white horse. Are we talking about Madame de Pompadour? Uh, maybe she'll share the stories that I told her. About people made of steel, cities made of soul. She still thinks I regret them. Ah. Oh. Sorry. I sped through enough. that, sorry. I'll go back and I'll do it again. Maybe, if I can. Uh, I feel bad. It should have, like, told me something. Should have, like, given me a warning. Or there should have been a gateway or something, like... What was the point of that? It was just like an intermission. Sorry, it's more of the game's fault than me, but like... I can't make this choice. So you've got to. Oh, I'm gonna kill all of reality, everything that's ever mattered to anyone and everything. Is that an option? It's all depends on me. Um, do I really want to though? Yeah, I kind of have to finish the game. It's also really, really loud. What is he doing? That is also really cool. Man, she's floating, kind of a little toy doll. Can I have him as a collectible? One of the, like, the things? I guess not. Oh, hiya. I just wanted to thank you for, you know, saving, saving the, universe the universe four times. And yeah, I know. Zapped the final transmitter. The virus was destroyed and reality reasserted itself for better or for worse. Okay. Hey, you're probably wondering where Emma is. Emma, can you hear us okay? Loud and clear, Doctor. Loving your own TARDIS. What is it with you and Hexagonal preparations? How's the new body? 
Amazing. Ah, oh, so she has what a body it now. I kept my word. Downloaded Emma into a synthetic body so she can move about. Feel, taste, take part, do all the things we sometimes take for granted. Only problem was, after all the adventures she had gallivanting about with you, she wanted more of the same. So I took a few temple liberties and sent her back in time. Yeah, she's gonna go traveling with someone I think you know. Actually, he can tell you himself. Left a message. I'll patch it through. That'll be David Tennant. Hello. Just wanted to say thanks. I understand you had a very difficult decision to make and you didn't shirk it. Good work. Shirk. Shirk. It's a word. Her ladyship won't tell me what the decision was about. But maybe I can guess. Hard sometimes, isn't it? Get a move on. Emma told me she's going to share some information, though, that I can pass on to you in the laundrette or something. Anyway, better get going. Emma wants to find out what it's like to live, so... I promised I'd show around the universe. Yeah, until you regenerate again and you'd like, I you know... I really want to go. Good guy. Now what am I doing? Is it the end of the game or is it like... Now what? What happens now? Oh. We're we back at the laundry. The TARDIS has brought us home. Recognize this place? Go on. Take a look. I don't want to take a look, no. What, what? So we have the Tenth Doctor's glasses, an Auton hand, a baton, a... Uh, that's Ace's bat, a fez and a bow tie, that's the Eleventh Doctor's, the baseball bat, a cyber head, that could also just, like, that could be handles or something, uh, the goblet that you drink out of when you regenerate, um, the Eleventh and Thirteenth Doctors, technically Twelfth and Fourteenth, but I'm not going to go into that, uh, the tenth, uh, twelfth doctor's guitar, this, this guitar, sorry, why do I call it a guitar? Uh, this is the seventh doctor's hat, I think. The ninth doctor's, uh, coat. Uh, that's the master in a matchbox. I don't know what, I think, oh, it's a flute in it. Yeah, second doctor's flute. That is a ring. That is another Cyberman-y thing in my bobby. Uh, this is the sarcophagus from the, the Weeping Angel place that we went to. This is the fourth doctor's uh, scarf. It also could be the other sciencey woman. This is a phone. I have no idea why or why that's... yeah, that's a thing. Uh, and then the seventh doctor's umbrella. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh. Loading. Cool. It's interesting. Not really. Is there going to be another like reality breaking event that I have to play or is this the end of the A game? A million years from now. Or was it last week? Reality itself was almost oh, destroyed. No. It was saved by a hero. Oh, it's me. Traveler in I'm time a, and on space. my hand. Yeah, it was saved by you. Hello. Turns out I'm just an arm. I don't have legs, don't have a body or anything. Ah. That's the end. Good work, everyone. Uh, congratulations, you've made it to the end of this series. Uh, you get a, uh... I don't know. You get something. Jake Shoesmith's SFNO Hazard and Production. Cool. Uh, very good game. Uh, very much enjoyed it. It was very fun. Um, bit short, and you kind of just played through the first game, but without the VR part. I'd say there was like maybe 20 minutes of actual gameplay that's new, but besides that, um, yeah, pretty good. I don't know what I thought. It was, I don't know, interesting, I guess. Pretty fun, but uh, yeah, I do recommend you to play it. Um, it is $35 for the main version, then $45 for the extras. I just bought the main version, didn't really care about all the extra stuff. The extras just gives you like sonic screwdrivers and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, like if I go down here, oh, I don't have it, I just have the credits and whoops a daisy. I don't want to see it again. No, 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 no. Alright, so I just sat through that again. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and I shall see you when I make another video. That'll most likely be very soon, probably this next week, I'm going to continue Aragami, 
You remember that game, the shadowy, killy people game? Yeah, that one. Uh, Aragami 2 is also out. I might play that, but I'm not sure. I might have to buy it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye. Also, I will do a video on the reading all the book things, and I will also do a video on the collection items and where to get them. So yeah. Oh, I shall see you on the next one. Goodbye. I also just noticed that I said goodbye like 60 times, so like, yeah.